katika kutazama na kukubali matokeo kwa Catherine Yeyule tujitie nguvu katika Kristo wa Bwana sababu yeye ndio mtiana wa nguvu kwa 
wale ambao wote wameweza uh, kumtazama asante na yote yule ambaye yako pale nje na angetaka kumtazama uh, dakika ni za mwisho mwisho maana yake tunaondoka kuelekea pale St Peter's kwa hivyo uh, kwa dakika moja au mbili zijazo uh, jeneza litakuwa likifungwa ili mradi tuweze kuelekea upande wa St Peter's pale kanisani naona uh, wengine wakifika i think uh, they are the workmates kujitie nguvu katika Kristu tuamini tumwachilie kwa roho safi it is okay well it is well it is well it is well yeah hiyo ni dawa moja ya ya, ya kupona na kukubali kwa hivyo yule ambaye analia wacha na aweze kulia kwa sababu ni dawa moja ya kukubali na kukubali kupona kujitia nguvu kujitia nguvu wafanyikazi wenzake mayarafiki majirani familia tuendelee kujitia nguvu katika Kristu sababu yeye ndo hutiana nguvu um nasubiri tumalize kisha nipeane directives on how we going to go towards St Peter's Catholic Church uh, kwa minajili ya kupata uh, misa takatifu yake mwana zake Catherine Wenemu Ah uh, nikiongea hivyo transport manager enda hapo umefika naomba uanze kuandaa magari ili tuweze safari bora kuelekea pale kanisani ni vizuri ukaweza kujitia nguvu uje mtazame ili kubali kuwa yametokea yametupata lakini kwa yote tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu. Asanteni sana kwa kuweza kuti hiyo na tunaelekea kumaliza ili kuweza kuondoka. Ndio basi naomba gari ambalo litatusaidia kubeba walimo kuelekea kanisani ili uweze kujogea karibu kisha tupate wale ambao wataweza kubeba ama kumbeba elimu kuelekea pale kwenye uh, kwenye gari ili mradi tukue tukiondoka ondoka wengine wote uh, baada napo tumeweza kuona wote na muomba mhudumu aweza kufungia uh, the casket ili tuweze kuondoka tafadhali pale nje kuna magari gari ambalo umekuja nalo kwa wakati huo labda ukikuja utaweza kulitumia kuelekea pale St Peter's au kulingana vile utaweza kuelekezwa asante
for fun, I'm sorry. That's my problem.
tumsifu Yesu Kristo. Mungu ni mwema kila wakati. Sisi wote tumeuzimika na kama sisi wote tumekufa. Sisi mmoja tu anataka sisi wengine bado tuko hai. Naitwa Kelvin, nataka kukukaribisha hapa St. Peter's Lament. St. Peter's Lament ndio parokia mali ambapo dada yetu alikuwa na shiriki ni kituo ama ni mtoto wa hapa lakini kabla ya hapo najua ameshiriki hapa miaka mingi kwa sababu kabla hiyo kituo kianzishwe walikuwa na shiriki hapa tani maana mzee namkumbuka na miaka mingi kwa hivyo nataka kuwakaribisha hapa muhara anasema mimi ni mmoja wa viongozi mimi sio kiongozi lakini kwa sababu ameniita Tak kau kalau bisa apa kau ni apa kami orang bosu asal pita asal net, mesti sekian huru, mesti sekian muka depan, kau ada apa kau nak dengan orang ini apa, kau nak diumba, izah mesti saya dia, diumba izah mabas, izah wah mama, naza wanome, kau dia, diumba dia izah mabas. Tawana hapo biyo Mani ya babu meza jisaidia Nimaona mkona maji Lakini tukona maji Lakini ya tapu Kwa hivyo kisikia ujatosheka na mati yako Tukona maji pale ya tapu Tukona kwa hivyo kwa hivyo maji uwezi maliza Kwa hivyo natako wakaribisha hapa Na wapa kwa hivyo tuweza kushirikia na pamoja Kumusindikiza ya leetu Kumpatia nishima ambaza na stahidi Leo nye ye kututangulia na kutangulia na sisi baada ya tutamfuata atujui ni nini atujui ni nani next lakini kati yetu lazima kuna yule ambaye ni ni next kwa vile tu nataka kusema na mimi lakini lazima kati yetu kuna yule ambaye atapata dada yetu kwa hiyo tunawakaribisha sana mtu akishaaga kitu ambacho anahitaji kutoka kwetu sana peke yake saa hizi yeye aizijiombea na ile visa ambayo utatoa hapa kwa heshima itaweza kukusaidia sana sana kwa sababu yeye sasa hivi muhitaji anatuhitaji anahitaji kila mmoja wetu kwa hivyo tuweze kushiriki vizuri visa ili zile neema ambazo anahitaji kutoka kwetu kupitia kwa hiyo njia ya visa akaweze kuzipokea asanteni na karibu sana
Ludzi, jak ci to katoliki. A tu nasi pokusali. On wie, bo wiesz, więc ja w Nancy, nie wie. Nancy nie wie. Udafiki, pokita, nie kamieni.
your next story and zoom it. You know about it quite more. If I can attest to what the son was telling me because we worked with him, she knew where she was going. And she is in a better place, I can tell you. She even prepared her and some of her parents here. Okay? So to school now, so as she had prepared herself. Because I do her and that is the most important thing. Now, sasa kwa niyaba ya marafiki ama colleagues kwa wali kwa nafanya nao tukira kuhita su, siju kama su anafika so kama su haiko, there is that other person who helps su I saw a, a, a tall gentleman how is you? karibu san, karibu san Some of us uh, died today. Will you rest in peace? Or will you rest in pieces? Utalala kwa amani ama imani ama utalala in pieces. Ishumite kwa wala wakumi. So it's upon us. Kutia dae. Good night. 
vision, what do Nairobi women do? You know, kuna watu wengine wanafikiri it's ni hospitali ya mama. Right? So ukisikia ni women maybe kuna wanaume wanataka huko. Na ni vyema kujua hivyo kama kweli kuna mama peke yake ambao wanatibiwa. Na unajua kuna watu wana associate hospitali ya kwa mama na maternity bana si the other things that are done so maybe tutakuwa na opportunity ya kuelezewa vizuri because it is an advantage for that watu wamekaa kwa kuweza kujua hili sio kama kuna kiongozi yote wa serikali ambaye amefika awe chief assistant chief mc ama kiongozi wa nyumba kuu
Kwa hivyo kadri na nieneza injili kwa kujitolea na kwa kutenda. Pia upande wa mtaa ni wa mtaa wetu tunashiriki na wazazi wake katika mtaa mmoja ambao unaitwa Saint Mark. Na pia huko alikuwa pia anajitolea na ndipo sisi tuko hapa kama wana Saint Mark ili tuweze kumsindikisha akapumzike. Kwa hivyo kwa upande wa ukristiano wake ni mtu ambaye huwezi sema hajakunguliwa milango. Na nipoza nimesema maisha yake wakati alikuwa katika tumbo ya mama yake Mungu alijua atatenda hivi na hivi na hivi. Mimi tu ni kusema tumewachwa na kadri katika sendagasi na katika wamama na katika kwa jumuiya kwa hivyo tutaona hilo pepo lake tutaona nitasema kadri ni mjua akiwa mtoto mdogo sana sisi ni majilani bali nilikuwa naenda maongolezi mimi niko pale mwingine watoto wao wote tumewanea pamoja kwa hivyo hawa watoto tunajua na zaidi naweza kukuambia maisha ya huyu mtoto huyu mtoto na watoto yangu kwa sababu walikuwa wanacheza pamoja kwa hivyo kuanzia utoto wake tunaweza sema huyo ni mmoja ambaye ametuondokea kwa hivyo nitaomba Mwenyezi Mungu amfungulie milango na mpokee kwake na tuishi vizuri ili tuweze kutana tena msifu Yesu Kristo Many of her colleagues are 
test countries case is a talented book, particularly for mathematics. When Catherine was diagnosed with cancer in 2012, she disclosed this to the HRT for support. The organization and her colleagues did their best to support her treatment, including adjusting her shifts to allow her to recover in between the sessions. Throughout her battle with cancer, her determination to fight against all odds was a testament to her strength, the character, and we are grateful for the time that we were able to work alongside her. Her legacy will continue to inspire us to be kind, compassionate, and optimistic in the face of adversity. adversity. We join you in grieving the loss of Catherine and hope that you find comfort in knowing that she made a significant impact to the lives of those around her. She will always be remembered fondly by her colleagues and friends. Below us are a few of the memories of Catherine we hold there at the Nairobi Women's Hospital. And this is what Kelly really had to say about her. I want to express my condolences and grief to your departure, uh, your departure Catherine. I know you were having a great time in your mission in heaven, not because that um, was the hope you lived for every single day here on earth. You may be gone, but you still clearly in our hearts. You lived for God and people. You loved everyone around you for living such a... You loved, uh, you loved everyone around you with the love of God. You are truly a woman of faith because you demonstrated it on many grounds. Thank you for living such a beautiful life. We shall meet again at the resurrection. And the truth to say is, dear kids, this is a shock. I'm saddened uh, by your sudden death. You are a colleague, a sister, a mother to many, and a love for a spiritual mother to earth. You are God's best flower in his garden. Indeed, you are the most beautiful flower that I grew in many wishes. You will be missed by many, but God will talk. Goodbye, kids, till we meet again. Please accept our deepest uh, condolences and we pray that the memories of Kathleen's life bring you comfort and peace during this difficult time. On behalf of the Board of Directors, the Nairobi Women's Hospital, signed with Dr. Sam um, I stand here as a really proud leader to have led Kathleen uh, because Kathleen taught us a lot. And, um, if resilience on the part of the love give you kids. Strength and also give you kids. Kate was a very strong woman who fought with her everything. And um, most of us would be able to watch her going through because she uh, put on a very brave face whenever she was around people. But we glad that she fought the fight. Um, for the Nairobi Women's Hospital, we are free flexed we see both men and women, so it's not a women's hospital per se. We see both uh, all genders. And uh, our daughters are both women. So our names is so called Kuja. And we have said their families. And this one is usually done for free. So if you have a neighbor who needs our support, then maybe let us know. And we also have a college. So we have three arms of the hospital, just like the other Thank you very much, and may God bless you and give you strength as we celebrate the life of that dream. God bless you.
na the immediate family members ndio watakuwa pale nyuma pamoja na padre alafu ceremony kama vile niliwaambia itaanza pale nyuma alafu waingie pole pole pamoja na jeneza alafu kija hapa huo utaratibu mwingine tutaenda tukuambia vile tutaifuata alafu tunataka kutambua the colleagues wa wa kibet wenye wanafanya kazi pamoja na wao wako hapa kina ken kwa rebus mamen hiyo timu ya kina ken those ladies about wa kuja saa hii kuna wengine naona hapo kada wa market wale na sawa wanafanya kazi na kibet asante sana kwa wengi sana na hapo wale wengine ambao wamefika tunawakaribisha so mr mushiri karibu
kwa sababu maisha ya naishi sitaanzia na upande huo mwingine so mpate pole zangu na pole za kanisa St. Augustine tumsite so Kristo asante
Mheshimiwa Rafa na Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu Bwana awe nani Tuombe E Bwana Usikize sala zetu sisi tunaogomba sana huruma yako ili marehemu mtumishi wa Catherine Wenimo Je muhamisha hapa duniani umweke katika amani na mwanga pamoja na watakatifu wako naomba hayo kwa Kristo bwana wetu baba yetu ndiye mbinguni jina lako litukuzwe ufalme wako ufike utakao lifanyike duniani kama mbinguni utupe leo mkate wetu wa kila siku utusamehe makosa yetu kama tunavyosamehe na sisi waliokosea Usitutie katika kisha wishi, lakini tuko kwa jina wakumi. Salamu Maria. Umejaa dema, buwana inawe, umebarikiwa ya kuliku wanawake wote, na yesu za tukurako umebarikiwa, Maria mtakatifu mamu wa mungu, tuwane ya sisi wako sefu, sasa na sabu kwa kwetu wame. Atukuzwe baba na buwana na rao mtakatifu, kama mwanzo na sasa na siku zote na milewe, Kuzwe baba na mwana na rao mkakatifu Kama mwazo na sasa na siku zote na milele amina Na haja milele ube wana Na mwanga wa milele uko wakazie Na pomzike kwa mwana Amina Raha ya milele ube katre ube mwe wana Na mwanga wa milele uko wakazie Na pomzike kwa mwana Zeke kwa nani.
kwa wakumbavo walio nekana kama wamekoka. Na, ku, <coughs> na kutoka kwa walihesabiwa kuwa msipa. Na kuondoka kwa wotoka kwetu kuwa uharibifu. Lakini wao wako katika amani. Na hata kama kwa, kwa mtazamo wa watu wanaonekana kuwadhibiwa tumaini lao limejaa kutokufa kwa kuwadhibiwa kidogo watafanywa mema makubwa kwani Mungu um, aliwajaribu wata atawakuta kwa atawakuta kwamba wame wamestahili atawakuta kwamba wamestahili aliwa aliwatathmini kama dhahabu katika tanuri na kama sadaka ya kuteketezwa walipotokea na wakati wa kujaliwa kwao watana na wataruka huku huku na huko kama cheche kwenye nyasi watahukumu mataifa na kuwatawala watu naye bwana atakuwa mfalme wao Wenye kutumaini Mungu hawatafahamu kweli. Na waaminiyo katika upendo watakana. Kwani neema na rehema iko watakatifu wake. Neno la Bwana.
baada ya kukubali na ndipo za pia tuweze kumuita wakati ambapo tunapomuita aweze kuweza kuja kutembea pamoja na sisi aweze kutushika mkono wakati huo wakati ambapo wa majuzi tukubali haya mapenzi ambayo ni mazito na wakati ambapo tunapokubali haya mapenzi haya ambayo ni mazito na tupoza baada ya hiyo pia Kristo atazidi kutufanya nini atazidi kutupunguza majozi ah katika somo letu la injili tunapatana na Maria na Martha wamepoteza ndugu yao Lazaro na wakati ambao wamepoteza ndugu yao Lazaro walikuwa kwamba pia wametumana wametumana kwa Yesu Kristo kwamba Lazaro ni mgonjwa na wakawa kwamba wametumana lakini Yesu Kristo alikuwa kwamba yuko na kazi nyingi baada ya hapo habari ikaja na ikaja kwa Yesu na akamwambia kwamba rafiki yako ambaye ni Lazaro asha pumzika asha ondoka Yesu Kristo akasema kwamba amelala tu baada ya siku nne amefika mahala pale anakuta umaji mkubwa wanakuta kwamba watu wanaombeleza na wakati ambapo mambo yanaeleza tunamwona Martha anaenda kumkaribisha na anamwambia kwamba Yesu mwalimu kama ungekuwa hapa kaka yangu hangalikufa na yale ambayo Yesu Kristo anaomboleza ni maneno ambayo ni mazuri zaidi maneno ambayo tunasahihi jamii kujua kwa sababu Kristo anamwambia kwamba jamii usiogope na usilie kwa sababu mimi ndiye ufufuko mimi ndiye uzima mimi ndiye ufufuko mimi ndiye uzima na wakati ambapo jamii tunapojua kwamba yale ati kwamba Yesu Kristo yeye ndiye uzima yeye ndiye ufufuko ndipoza baada ya hiyo tunajua kwamba mama yetu amelala katika bwana na wakati ambapo tunasema kwamba amelala katika bwana na Yesu Kristo ambaye ni mfufuko si kwamba ni kupotea kupotea mm-hmm. ameanza maisha maisha yale ambayo maisha ambayo tunatamani maisha ambayo jamani ataishi milele na bwana na wakati ambapo tunasema kwamba ameenda kwa yule ambaye ni muumba wake na hiyo ndio ambayo inatupa nguvu kwamba sisi sasa na sisi tujitahidi na wakati ambapo tunapojitahidi kwamba jamani tuweze kuishi maisha ambayo maisha ambayo ni ufufuko na nipoza kifo kinapokuja kwetu jamani hatutakuwa kwamba tuna wasiwasi Catherine alijiada na wakati ambapo anapojiana si kwamba hakujua kwamba kifo hakiko mm-hmm. alijua vizuri zaidi wakati ambapo anasema kwamba alijua kwamba kifo kiko na hasa hata wakati ambapo alipokuomba anaumia katika mwili wake hakukata matumaini kwa Mwenyezi Mungu na hilo ndilo jambo ambalo jamii likubwa ambalo analotufundisha kabla ati kwamba katika uchungu wakati ambapo anapoona kwamba sasa kwamba maisha hapa ni kama kwamba inafika kikomo lakini anajua kwamba jamii kuna maisha baada ya hiki kifo baada ya kifo kuna maisha na akawa kwamba ana matumaini makubwa na hilo ndilo jambo ambalo linatupa nguvu wakati ambapo tunapomsikisha kwamba uh, Catherine aliondoka katika dunia hii akiwa very conscious at kwamba jamani sasa mimi nimefika mwisho lakini si mwisho bali ni mwanzo wa kuweza kukutana na kukutana na yule ambaye aliyemuumba Mpoza tunasema kwamba tazidi kusema kila wakati kwa sababu huo ndio shuhuda wangu kwamba wakati ambapo tulipopatana na kadri labda masaa labda masaa si masaa kama labda reza kwanza tuseme na was before boki na baada ya hiyo unakuta kwamba ni mtu ambaye anasema kwamba jamani najua kwamba imefika mwisho na wakati ambapo imefika mwisho sasa naanza maisha mazuri na hata baada ya kitubio kitu ambacho anachofanya ni nini alianza kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu thank you god for giving me this opportunity asante umenipa nafasi ya kuweza kupatana na wewe asante kwa sababu sasa naomba uweze kunikaribisha kwangu uweze kunikaribisha kwangu 
wakati ambao mtu ambaye ana imani na muda ile katika uchungu asizi uchungu lakini anaona zile hatua ambazo anapiga katika maisha sasa mimi nakuja kwako nikaribishe nasema asante umenipa nafasi wakati ambao anaposema kwamba umenipa nafasi jamani nikapatana na wewe jamani yale ambayo mazibaka ambayo nilikufanyia jamani na kuomba umesamehe na baada ya hiyo anashukuru hicho kinatupa nguvu wakati ambao anasema kwamba kinatupa nguvu na nipoza tusiwe kwamba tuna wasiwasi jamani kwa sababu uzuri mkubwa katika haya mambo yote alipatana na Mwenyezi Mungu alijiandaa na baada ya kujiandaa sasa akaenda kukutana na Muumba wake she was very conscious that is coming she was very conscious now the next step hapo kama yule ambaye ana complain hapo kama yule ambaye anasema kwamba mbona uniite mapema hapo aliona kwamba nimeishi maisha yangu nimefanya yale ambayo nilistahili nimetumikia Mwenyezi Mungu katika nafasi ambayo alinipa na sasa anasema kwamba anashukuru kwa maisha haya can imagine mtu ambaye anashukuru kwa maisha unashukuru kwa maisha ambayo Mwenyezi Mungu amekupa si kwamba jamani nikubaliani na kusema kwamba mbona uniite ni kitu gani ambacho nilichokufanyia mbona unipitishie utungu huo yeye ana nafasi ya kushukuru masaa machache kabla hajaondoka anaposa anasema kwamba sasa na sisi yale ambayo umetufundisha Catherine wacha tukae katika Bwana wakati ambapo tunapokaa katika Bwana kwa sababu dhameni wakati ambapo tunapokaa katika Bwana na kutumia katika maisha yetu hakuna kitu ambacho ni muhimu kama kile kama nimemjua Mwenyezi Mungu nimebatizwa nimeishi ubatizo wangu na baada ya kwamba nimebatizwa nimeishi uh, ubatizo wangu na nafasi ya moyo nimepewa na Mwenyezi Mungu naitumikia ama naitumia kwa ajili ya kumsifu na tumia nafasi ile kwa sababu ya kumjua Mwenyezi Mungu zaidi na tumia nafasi ile na nipoza jameni baada ya hapo I give an account of my life kwa hivyo Catherine si yule ambaye hesabu zake hazipigiana hesabu zake uliposikia kwamba anazifanya hesabu zake ziliingiana na akawa kwamba jameni hana matumu kwake Mwenyezi Mungu lakini alikuwa kwamba anasema kwamba sasa nikaribishe wakati baba anaposema kwamba sasa nikaribishe na yako umenipa nafasi na baada ya kwa umenipa nafasi jameni sasa nakuja kwako Alipoza siku ya leo jameni tumepewa nafasi na Catherine ametuita wakati mwingine unakuta kwamba jameni tunakuwa kwamba tuongelee busy wakati mwingine hatufikirii jinsi tutakavyokufa jinsi wakati mwingine hata hatufikirii kuuzo kifo na wakati ambapo tunasema kwamba tumeitwa siku ya leo na Catherine tunapomsindikisha mimi na wewe tujiulize je mimi nina uhusiano gani na Mwenyezi Mungu napatana na yeye hata katika udhaifu wangu jameni ambayo pao kama jameni nina unyenyekevu kwamba msamaha ama jameni nasema kwamba nitaishi katika dunia hii jinsi ambavyo ninavyotaka ama kwamba wewe ni yule ambaye unyenyekevu unarudi kwa baba yeye ambaye aliyekuumba wakati ambapo umeenda kombo katika maisha yako unarudi kwake na nipoza aweze kukuta kaza unarudi kwake na kama mambo unaporudi kwake na nipoza kuzidi kukaa katika neema na baraka zake kama siku ya leo nijiulize mimi nina uhusiano ambao nidhabiti na Mwenyezi Mungu ama jameni mimi sina uhusiano uhusiano wangu ni ule ambao nalenga nena ama uhusiano wangu ni ule ambao nipangilie ni swali la kujiuliza na nipoza katika somo letu la kwanza tunaambiwa kwamba jameni wale ambao ambao Mwenyezi Mungu amewaita wale ambao wamewaita na baada ya kuwaita anasema kwamba si kwamba tunaangalia wingi wa miaka ambao nitakaoishi hapa duniani lakini yale ambayo yanaangaliwa ni kwamba nimeishi yupi na Mwenyezi Mungu na nasema kwamba maisha ambayo ni mazuri ama miaka ambayo ni mazuri ni wakati ambapo jameni mimi nina uhusiano na Mwenyezi Mungu anasema kwamba mwenye haki hata kama kwamba amekufa kidani atakuwa kwamba ana raha na nasema kwamba 
uzee ambao unaheshimika si maisha marefu hamna haja niishi miaka 100 na baada ya kuishi miaka 100 hapo duniani nisiwe kwamba sina uhusiano na baada ya hiyo jameni nisipatane na yule ambaye nimuumba kwa hivyo Mwenyezi Mungu anaangalia quality of life si kwamba quantity of life ati kwamba nimeishi miaka gani kwa sababu anasema kwamba ati hata baada ya hiyo nalipoza anasema kwamba wakati mwingine anaona kwamba mtu amempendeza na katika kumpendeza anasema kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu anafanya haraka kumuondoa katikati ya wale ambao ni waovu akaenda yeye mgeni na hiyo tu ambayo jameni inatupa uzuni si inatupa uzuni kwa nini haitupi uzuni kwa sababu ya kwamba ati kwamba kaka pia ameondoka lakini kile ambacho kinachotupa zaidi kutupa uzuni kwamba jamani kaka ni ameondolewa kwetu sisi ambao ni wao na nipoza jamani tu sibadilishe pia yake nipoza jamani tunajiuliza ni kitu gani ambacho tutakachofanya jamani tukae karibu na Mwenyezi Mungu ni kitu gani ambacho tutakachofanya jamani tuwe kwamba tunahusiana na Mwenyezi Mungu ni mambo gani ambayo tutakayofanya na wakati ambapo tunapofanya jamani baada ya hapo tuweze kukaa pamoja na yeye na yeye mbele yetu na Mwenyezi Mungu anatuumba kwa sababu anataka tumujue anataka tumtumikie na sisi leo natuuliza wewe umemtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu kiasi gani umemtumikia Mwenyezi Mungu kiasi gani na niposa wakati ambapo atakapokuita Niwe kwamba hesabu zangu zinaingiana ati kwamba jameni umenipa nafasi nimefanya kazi ya kwako nimeishi vizuri na wazazi wangu nimeishi vizuri na ndugu zangu nimeishi vizuri na watoto wangu nimeishi vizuri na wote ambao ndio nipo katika maisha na sasa unataka sasa mimi nirudi kwako naomba unikaribishe kwa sababu hesabu zangu zina balance Mungu wa Kristo apenzi, Mwenyezi Mungu ametujalia maisha, ametupa tarata tofauti tofauti, ametupa maisha, nipoza tuweze kumtumikia. Wakati ambapo unapotumikia bibi yako, wakati ambapo unapotumikia watoto wako, wakati ambapo unapoishi vizuri na majirani zako, wakati ambapo unapoishi vizuri na mahali mahali ambapo jamani unapofanya kazi. Jamani uishi vizuri na huduma ambayo unatoa kwa wanadamu ni huduma ambayo unatoa kwa Mwenyezi Mungu na Mwenyezi Mungu amekujalia ngazi yoyote ambayo kuwezesha na kukupa uwezo ule ambao umepewa na nipoza uweze kuwatumikia na kuwatumikia watu wake. Kwa hivyo tufanye bidii jamani tuishi maisha ambayo ni mazuri na tarata ambazo tumepewa na Mwenyezi Mungu. Tarata umepewa na Mwenyezi Mungu si kwa sababu ya tarata umepewa na tarata ambayo umepewa umepewa kwa sababu ya wengine kama wewe ni daktari kuna wakati ambao daktari anajitibu daktari anatibu wengine akigonzeka anatibiwa kama wewe ni mwalimu mwalimu anafundisha wengine na yeye akitaka kuendelea na masomo anafundishwa pia tumepewa tarata kwa sababu ya ndugu zetu tufanye aende tuweze kuinua ndugu zetu na katika huduma ile Mwenyezi Mungu anakaa ndani ya maisha yetu anatupa baraka na neema anazidi kutuinua na nipoza baada ya hapo tutakuwa kwamba hatuna machungu wakati ambapo watakapotuita lakini kitu ambacho kilichoko ni kwamba pia hatujui ni siku gani hatujui ni lini hatujui ni saa na wakati ambapo nasema kwamba hatujui saa basi na sisi tujizidi kwa kwamba kila wakati ati kwamba tunazidi kumtafuta na katika kumtafuta na baada ya hiyo naye Mwenyezi Mungu atazidi kutuinua na kutupa baraka katika maisha yetu kila wakati na hivyo wakati ambapo tunasema kwamba yeye ndiye mchungaji wetu yale ambao ni mazito wakati mwingine unakuta kwamba maisha yako kwamba ni mazito ametuumba tumtumikie lakini pia yeye ni mchungaji wetu wakati mwingine unakuta maisha yako kwamba ni mazito magonjwa yamekuja kwako jamani nimekosa kazi wacha Mwenyezi Mungu ama huyu Yesu Kristo awe kwamba ni mchungaji wa maisha yetu wakati ambapo anapo kwa kwamba ni mchungaji wa maisha yetu atatuongoza baada ya baba kuna majani mabichi ataongoza biashara zetu ataongoza familia zetu ataongoza kazi ambazo tunazo zifanya hata wakati ambapo unapopitia yale ambayo ni magumu usiwe kwamba yule ambaye anakata matumaini hata wakati ambapo tuna machungu hata wakati ambapo jamani imekuwa 
tumeachwa tujue kwamba sasa ametuachia huyu ambaye ni mchungaji wetu na mchungaji wetu atazidi kutuchunga hakuna wakati ambapo tutakapopungukiwa na hasa zaidi tuzidi kwa karibu na yeye zaidi na wakati ambapo tutakapokuwa karibu na yeye zaidi atazidi kutuchunga atazidi kutupa vyote tunavyohitaji na wakati ambapo anapotupa vyote tunavyohitaji naye Mwenyezi Mungu jina lake litazidi kutukuzwa na atazidi kukaa pamoja na sisi kila wakati tuze kumuomba katika misa ya leo kwamba jamii huyu ambaye aliyemuita ampe nafasi katika ufalme wa mbinguni huyu ambaye alijiandaa huyu ambaye alitamani kwenda kwake Mwenyezi Mungu anasema kwamba hakuna mtu yote ambaye alitamani kuja kwangu nitakaye mwacha wote ambao wanao nitafuta atawapa nafasi ya kukaa pamoja na kukaa pamoja na yeye mwenyewe basi na sisi tunapoza hii ndio imani yetu wakati baba tunamwasema kwamba hii ndio imani yetu basi itupe nguvu kwamba aliishi maisha hajapotea na wakati baba unasema kwamba hajapotea atazidi kutupa uzima atazidi kutuinua atazidi kuponya kile kidonda ambacho tumepata wakati ambapo tumeondokewa na yule ambaye ni mpendwa wetu tuweze kuombea familia hasa wakati huu ambao ni mchungu na kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu azidi kuatuliza azidi kwa kwamba yeye ni mchungaji wetu azidi kuatuliza nyoo zetu mumfungulie roho huyu ambaye ni mchungaji wetu tunahitaji jamani mahala ambapo jamani atupanguza machozi na kama baba anapo tupanguza machozi na hii message ya Yesu Kristo kwa Martha na Maria jamani mimi ndiye uzima mimi ndiye ufufuko Yesu Kristo atazidi kuapa uzima atazidi kwa kwamba ni ufufuko katika maisha yetu na nipoza baada ya hiyo tuzidi ku celebrate maisha ya Catherine maisha yale ambayo aliyoyaishi maisha ya kupendeza Mwenyezi Mungu maisha yale ambayo ni mazuri na kama baba tunapoishi yale ambayo ni mazuri naye Mwenyezi Mungu atupe baraka na neema na kutuongoza kwa kila wakati tumsifu Yesu Kristo ndoto kuzaliwa na fanya nini akiwa mdogo ndio kuna madaktari ndio sana tayari kupata information bwana asifiwe atamdoto anafanya nini analia na asipolia analia na fanya nini asipolia na ana chapo nani anaga huko atumzimizo kristo na kuulia Unatamba mtoto na anakuja hii dunia. So unasema kwamba mtoto alizaliwa analia. Asipolia. Imagine usipolia unaeka kofi. Unalia. Na ukilia hawakwambii na mazi. Tuzidi zoduso. Unataje unalia? They start doing what? They start celebrating. Ana mama ana celebrate. Sikia uwa mpata mtoto amelia hawataza kumwambia wewe uje nyamaza mmm mwache hapa yuke kapi kabisa hivyo inakuwa mambo mawili ama jambo ni haya ulizaliwa kumaanisha ulivia wanasema madaktari wanasema wanasema kwamba ati kwamba mtoto asipolia si vizuri sana na ngazo ile ipose mtoto afanye nini alie so kumaanisha kama kama wewe unaishi kwa sababu nasema kwamba asipolia uh, mambo si vizuri sana kwa kama una, wewe uko hapa kumaanisha wakati ambapo ulipozaliwa ulifanya nini ulevia so sasa ishi maisha mazuri maisha mazuri na ndugu zako Maisha mazuri na Mwenyezi Mungu. Maisha mazuri na jirani zako na wale ambao unaishi pamoja nao, unafanya kazi pamoja nao. Maisha ambayo ni mazuri. Na nikuza wakati ambao utakapoondoka hapa. Baada ya kwenda Catherine leo hali kwa sababu amefika mahali ambapo hamna uchungu. Amefika mahali ambapo alitamani Alifika mahali ambapo jamani hata uchungu na ugonjwa unapomsonga jamani focus 
yake haikuondoka amefika nyumbani na wakati ambapo anapofika nyumbani tunasema kwamba maraika maraika na watakatifu wanafanya nini wanashangilia na sisi ambao tulibaki wakati ambapo alipozaliwa Catherine alipozaliwa sisi wakati ambapo tulipozaliwa madaktari waliokuwa pale wazee ambao walikuwa pale walifurahi sasa tunaachwa na machozi kwa sababu jamii yeye anafurahi na nipoza wewe challenge ni kwamba ni hivi mimi niishi maisha mazuri nikiishi maisha mazuri wale ambao nitabakisha duniani watajia lakini ukiwa kama wewe ni mtu ambaye ni jabazi ukiwa kama wewe ni mtu ambaye unasumbua watu ukiwa kama jamii ni mtu ambaye haishi vizuri utaondoka kama kwamba wewe ulikuwa ni mwizi unatumujia nyumba jamii ukiondoka tunasema gari wewe ya mtu kwa 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 tumsingi Yesu Kristo sasa tutapunguzi hakuna mtu ambaye atakia so dunza kulia ni nzuri kwa sababu Catherine aliishi maisha mazuri na Mwenyezi Mungu pia anataka kitu kizuri anataka kitu kizuri kwa na tukua wazuri kwa sababu hatutaki jamii tu kwamba sisi ni wapotea ulie hapa duniani ulikuja duniani ukalia tena baada ya kuondoka hapa uanze kilio ambacho ni cha milele siku ni chache ambazo jamii ah, tuko hapa duniani masaa ni matatu wacha tumkubali Mwenyezi Mungu wacha tukae kwa wacha tumjue wacha jamii tumtumikie na wakati ambapo tunamtumikia kwa sababu jamii alitupa nafasi tuje hapa na baadaye turudi kwake kwa tuombe familia kwamba Mwenyezi Mungu azidi kwa hapa baraka na neema wakati ambapo anapozidi kwa hapa baraka na neema na pia Mwenyezi Mungu azidi kuongoza na kuimarisha kabisa kabisa na pia nachukua nafasi hii kushukuru wazazi kwa sababu ya kumlea huyu mwana kumuonyesha kanisani na wakati ambapo walipompa zawadi ile zawadi ile amedumisha na wakati ambapo nasema kwamba zawadi ile amedumisha na wazazi tunasema asante kwa vile tunapoza pia na sisi ambao tunapata watoto wacha tuwalee katika bwana wacha tu leta zinjobizi watoto wetu kwa Mwenyezi Mungu because when you introduce watoto wetu kwa Mwenyezi Mungu he is everything na hiyo ndio jambo ambalo ni kubwa zaidi unapo introduce watoto wako kwa Mwenyezi Mungu yeye ndiye ambaye anapeana uzima yeye ndiye ambaye anapeana amani yeye ndiye ambaye anapeana even knowledge na ukimpa mtoto wako Mwenyezi Mungu umempa kila kitu lakini watu wakati ambapo unapomweka mali na Mwenyezi Mungu wakati ambapo wewe kama baba jamani uende kanisani mtoto hapati kujua ni nini hasa kinachofanyika na baada ya hiyo anakuwa kwamba ni mtoto wa mtaani baada ya kuwa kwamba ni mtoto wa mtaani huyu ni mtoto ambaye ni maskini maskini kabisa wacha tu hapo watoto wetu utajiri na kuapa utajiri ambao ni wa kweli ni kuapa watoto wetu Mungu acha tuwape pole kwamba wana uhusiano na Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu anapokuwa na uhusiano na Mwenyezi Mungu hakuna kitu ambacho atakachopungukiwa atazidi kuandika atazidi kuongoza na baada ya hapo atawapa uzima wa milele lakini ukiwapa watoto wako tu masomo haushughuliki kama wana uhusiano na Mwenyezi Mungu hawa ni watu ambao ni maskini kwa sababu watakuwa maskini hawatakuwa jinsi ya kuishi na watu kama atajua jinsi jamani ya kutangamana na watu lakini umeopa umeopa Mungu watoto wako baada ya kuapa wa Mungu watoto wako hawa ni matajiri hata wakati ambapo utakapoondoka unajua kwamba tutakokuwa tuna amani lakini jamani uupe mtoto elimu uupe sijui vitu vizuri uupe chakula kizuri hospitali ambayo ni nzuri nyumba ambayo ni nzuri minus god maskini wa mwisho maskini hoya hai watu ambao watakao subua watu kwa hivyo jamii tunasema asante kwa wazazi kwa kazi ambayo mlifanya kuapa Mungu ukwapa huyu Catherine Mwenyezi Mungu na baada ya kuapa Mwenyezi Mungu it has carried her hata katika uchungu na mambo mazito amekuwa kwamba jamii anamuona Mwenyezi Mungu na anajua kwamba niko hapa na baada ya kutoka hapa nitarudi nyumbani kwa hivyo tuweze kuwaombea kwa Mwenyezi Mungu pia aweze kuatuliza Mwenyezi Mungu alimpa zawadi ya Catherine na baada ya kumpa zawadi ya Catherine mkampa zawadi ya Mwenyezi Mungu sasa pia anarudi mbinguni
mbinguni akiwa mtakatifu na Mwenyezi Mungu atazitika katika wazee wenu tumsifu Yesu Kristo tusimame kwa sana ndio natuongoza sana naomba kwamba waweze kutokea mbele Mungu Baba Mwenyezi Tusema asante kwa ajili ya kutupa kadri kama zawadi Baba akakaa pamoja na sisi Mwenyezi Mungu akatuonyesha upendo utokao kwako Baba umuita kwako tunakuomba ukampe nafasi na yale ambayo aliyotamani Baba kukaa na wewe milele kampe nafasi akakaa na wewe Nasema kwamba chochote tutakachokuomba utazidi kutupa. Mpe kadri uzima wa milele. Alitamani, alikutamani. E Bwana utusikie.
baba mwema tuomba uondoe jaa katika nchi yetu tukijua kuna pahali pengi watu wanakufanya ili nao wawe na nguvu ya kukushukuru na tuomba haya tukisema bwana utusikie Mwanamke ni haya Mwenyezi Mungu tuacha mbele yako ili tuweze kukushukuru kwa sababu umetukusanyisha hapa kanisani hapa katika hekalu yako ili tuweze kushirikisha utoto wetu kadri baba naombea mahitaji yetu sisi tukiwa kama mafamilia baba kuna watu ambao hawana kazi twakuomba uweze kuwapa kazi ili waweze kupata ya kukutolea na kuendeleza nchi yako pia baba tuombea wale ambao ni wagonjwa wale wako katika majumbani wale wako katika mahospitali baba tuomba muaguze na mkono wako wa kulia na uwanyuzie damu yako ambayo imwalika msalabani ili baba waweze kupona na kujirudia katika hali yao ya kila siku baba twajia chini mikononi mwako tukijua sisi zote tunakuhitaji kwa sababu wewe ndio kiongozi wetu wa kidogo ili baba tukujue zaidi tukupende na tukutumikie Tuomba hayo tukisema e Mungu utusikie. Asante sana. Bwana leo. Bwana leo mbarikiwa kuliko wanawake wote. Na Yesu mzaa tumrako mbarikiwa. Na leo tunatufuma kwa Mungu. Tuombee sisi wakosefu. Sasa na sasa yote kwenye Kristu Bwana wetu.
dada zangu sadaka yangu na yeye barue na Mungu baba mwenyezi Bwana tunatolea kwa unyenyekevu dadio hii tukiomba rehema yako kwa ajili ya wokovu wa mtumishi wako Patrice Noelimo na kwa kuwa hakutia shaka kwamba mwanao ndiye mwokozi mwema tunakusihi ijadie ili apige kumona yeye aliye hakimu mwenye huruma anaishi na tawala milele na milele Bwana awe nani na wewe ni yoyo tumshukuru bwana mungu wetu kweli ni mema na hapi tendo la kufana na kuleta wokovu tukushukuru pote e bwana baba mtifu mungu mwenyezi wa milele kwa njia Kristo bwana wetu yeye ndiye yule mmoja aliyepo ili sisi zote tusije tukafa ila mmoja tu alikubali kufa usudi zote tupate kuishi kwa ajili yako milele kwa hiyo pamoja na malaika wa mbinguni tunakutukungama kwa furaha
itakaya mwanika kwa aji ya nima kwa jiri ya vengi kwa mwandole ya nangi. Fanyani hivi kwa ukumbusho wangu. Fumbo la imani.
na ujue mwokozi wetu Yesu Kristo Bwana Yesu Kristo yeye ametuma wako na wacheni ambao wapendi imani yangu usisitazame dhambi zetu na tuma ya kanisa lako ulijalia baada ya moja kama alivyo mapenzi yako unaishi na mtawala milele na milele amani ya Bwana iwe na imani yako basi kwa furaha mpeane amani
Todo en el a Cristo por impactarse, ¿eh?
kama mtakatifu wako milele kwa wewe huu mwenye huruma e bwana jeriaya milele na mwanga milele mwangazie pamoja na mtakatifu wako milele kwa kuwa wewe huu mwenye huruma tuombe e bwana mungu bwana umetochea kumungu pamba katika sakramenti ya mungu wake kwa mungu ya chakula hiki upenda kumjalia dada yetu kathri kwa yurumo afige kwenye karamu ya milele ya kristu anaishi na tawala daima na milele na mbato kete tuweza kwacha yonaji chibonisi Asante sana Baba Francis Mri Baba Palauko Parokia ya St. Peter Yepi tunasema Asante sana kwa wana kwae Mbukoza mzuri Na sisi wote ni mpige Yesu makofi Asante sana Na mbukoja ni mesema Higa makofi na hafu pila Na nataka kukubuja hapa ni karisani Yesu kikuwa tunapigia makofi Na yesa atu kukia makofi Kikuwa kukia makofi Ala kukia nyumbani kukia makofi Pigia Yesu makofi Na kanji kanji Was 
caring, the loving, a helpful auntie to Victor Wadiri, Anthony Dedwa, Esther Mundi, Kathy Merimo, Charles Gakuo, Nathan Wadiri, Gabriel Wadiri, Kalfi Kimani, Jude Mundi, Maxwell Wadiri. She was a grandmother to Maxwell Wadiri Jr., Ayan Maora, Travis Jogu, Ethan Jogu, and Fatima Nai. Karia. My sister was employed at Waterbar in a guru position, where she worked for a long period of time. She later joined the Richard T Hotel to further her career as a trainee. And Nairobi Women was where she worked the longest. Kathy was dedicated to her job and enjoyed working with fantastic and amazing colleagues. She took cooking skills with lots of pride, passion, and dedication. All who knew my sister would remember her with her indomitable spirit, drive, culinary excellence, and catering talent. Heaven is your new home when you go into Go well, go shine. Our dear daughter, mom, sister, auntie, and a friend. Six. My late sister began ailing in the year 2012. She was admitted and treated in various medical facilities, which include Provisio General Hospital in Kuru, Kenyatta National Hospital in Nairobi, and Nairobi Women Hospital. The fateful day of Thursday, 9th February, 2023, my sister's condition got worse. And she was rushed to Nairobi Women's Hospital in Kairat's branch. And on Sunday, the 12th February, at 8.37 a.m., my sister took her last breath. And she rested peacefully. Oh, our dear sister, she died at the age of 80, 48 years old. She will be remembered for her genuine love, her kindness, her generosity, and dance. God is good. And all the time. Or did you get into it, huh? On a hit with it? Can I cut out the voice it out? I would like to tell you something. Few sentences about my big sister. My big sister loved her nieces and nephews so much. She wanted the best for them. She did everything she could to make them happy. So many times when I come to my mom's house and my two boys want to go and sleep in a two kids' house, that's how we used to call her. And I'm like, you just come, so spend time with me and then you go see your auntie later. My boys will start to cry. <laughs> We have to go. We want to go and stay or sleep in this house. She loved them. My big sister, I know she loved them. I hear it was a woman at that time. Right here was her favorite sister when I was young. She used to refuse to work because she was holding a child. And that child is me. 
the older ones draw it when you are in Hongeshi, but work is very frustrated. Why is this way more holding the child all the time? She needs to wash dishes and she needs to cook. But she just didn't want to clothes. Clothes. And before my sister died, I was with her exactly one week. And we had our moments. She asked me to make her a fish. She showed me how to marinate the fish. I did not, not knowing that was our last meal together. When we went, she told me to take care of her kids. I will do that. I will try my best. You are a father, a father really best to have, but only the closest friends are 
Now, Tina and Ras. Thank you. 
Asanteni sana. Kwa wapige hawa wenyewe na muziki. Wakofu sana. Hata wengine ambao walikuwa wameketi pale, nashukuru sana. Now it's time for a photo of Dani. Mbaye tutatawa Mr. Devo. Mr. Devo, I do for photo of Dani.
ipo sahihi right isipokuwa tu ni taratibu mkisema kuna mtu mwingine unataka aseme na sisi tumeruhusu huyo mmoja kwa sio time bado tuko naye tunaona hata baba ana pesa tumuangalie tunaona amerika sababu mko within time alright kwa hivyo there are person sababu amefika alikuwa mwalimu wa kadri kisoma kwa 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 yule aliyekuwa mwalimu na semekana alisomea maigoya baima maigoya maigoya unajua ni nini wala watu kwa miaka zetu kuna kitu kinaitwa maigoya maigoya ni ni kwa nini mnacheka eh eh ilikuwa tisho pepa ya zamani kumbe mesa mchini atakuwa ilikuwa inapata kwa kitu kinachoka so wakati tunaenda tunavuna kika na njia yako alafu bas maneno inaendelea eh jakeni tu amujui mali tumetoka hata wengine hawakupata maigoya kabla maigoya haijakuja ulikuwa unakaa chini alala maneno inakwisha tumaita tu Mr. Jogona tafadhali Mr. Jogona from Maigoya and I hope you have been my boy I have come for I had Mr. Jogona was here from Maigoya very well pala usijali kwa hiyo mambo huko kuta eh lakini sisi tulikutana nayo Mr. Jogona from Maigoya Okay Okay. We, we have teachers from my wife, I know that teacher from my wife. Huh? Oh, he was the only one. Okay, Asante Sama. I want to know if you give me a power of a freak of a question. Now, if you have a bus, you can do it. Na pia fana karis, na sana kwamba, na mbiye pole, 
Nazidi kuombea Kuombea mwenyezi mungu Kwa mbukati kwa mbukati Kwa mbukati zidi Na yuko pamoja na njini Hasa Katika sala Kwa mbukati chukua na fasi hiki ya kwa shukuru wata Jinzi ya mbukati tumishiriki Na jinzi ya mbukati Tumeendelea na ibada zitu Na hasa wakati ya mbukati Tumapu kusatukisha Tumapu kusatukisha Kwa mbukati nasema kwamba huyu yeye ni shujaa wa imani tumsike za kristo and I was saying the other day ati baada ya mimi kuongea na yeye kujua kuna kata mbao nasema kwamba kumongea kumweza kuongea dakika za kwesho wakati mbao tunapongea dakika za kwesho na tuongi kuhusu ama shamba ama nyinga tunapongea mambo ya wabi ya bimuni Na wakati mbubo nilipo pata alari kwa mba ati kathri nomo mimi nilianza kuhidua na kawigo kidogo tu mtu msingi su kristu Nikazama I wish I'm the one who died by that You can imagine Father akisikia I wish Kwa sababu Alienda kama amepatana na mungu wake Na baanga hiyo anashukuru kwa mba nilipata na fasi Na naona kwa mba kabisa nimefanya yangu yote and with no bitterness you have to but you have to do that with no bitterness kwa tunakutana na watu wakua wakanda kwa mbine mbo sile mtu wabayi ukaribu na wakati mbini wakati ambamu na wakutana mtu anajaribu ukua kwa mba anajaribu kustrago na mkubali Catherine alikubali Catherine was contented what she has done. Unazama kwa mba nimefanya hini, I've done that my part. And now I'm ready. Kunja kwa kwa. Kwa wacha tushirikia maisha yake, wakati ambapo tunapo shirikia maisha yake, maisha maisha yale ambao jamini, maisha ambao ni mazuri. Wakati ambapo nasama kwa mba maisha mazuri, basi wacha nasisi tutamani maisha yale ambao ni mazuri. Wakati ya mutamani maisha mazuri, Tipoza mahabia maisha haya Tuweze kufika mingoni Tulikuja dunia ni hii Muda mfupi Na baada ya kuja muda mfupi Baada ya hiyo tunaondoka Lakini swali ni kwamba utaondoka Ukiwa na nini Utaondoka ukua kwamba umepoteza Usia na wako na mungu Utaondoka ukua kwamba jameni Ujapatana na ndugu na dada zako Utaondoka kwamba jameni Ukua kwamba umerete funjo Katika dunia hii ama utokoko kuwa kwa mba wakuna amani wacha tutakuta amani na mwenyezi mungu wacha tukai karibu na yeye wacha tutuliki katika maishi yetu na hata wakati mbogo Catherine lakimu katika hali ya ugonzwa kuna kamisa tulajeka kwa mechini katika ugonzwa but mustani wa kwanza kusema kwa mba I'm going to do this umoto ina mga yunikia Lakini, nisema kwa mba kili ya mecho kachopata Bado mimi nitazenga kanisa I want to build this church I want to build the temple of God You can imagine that, that sacrifice Si kwa mba, ati kwa mba nitajiri ya mungu mba nitajiri mungu Lakini, nisema kwa mba, no, I'm going to give fees for my church Kwa mba, nisema kwa mba, nisema kwa mba, I'm going to give fees for my church Akiwa kwa mba, fear the responsibility and asumesha wa toto Akiwa kwa mba, na majokomo kini pia, akiwa kwa mba na mpa mnyezi mungu na fasi ya kwanza. Kwa mbina shukuru sana, kusema kwa mba huyu ni shujaa wa imani na shujaa wa imani wacha na sisi tupata mbufu zaidi, tuweze kumtumikia mungu, tukai karibu na ye maisha yetu isiwe kwa mba jamini ni asana, maisha ya kathra ni siya asana jamini anaenda kukana yule amaya jie mba pia na sisi we struggle for that na mwenyezi mungu ya tupe na fasi jamini kweza kumtumikia na kukana yeye mwenyele yote tumsifu isu kristu na mba tusmai kwa sala ya mwisho na buriyama ya mwisho
katika safari yake ya maisha baada ya yake Mungu alimpa maisha ya duniani na sasa amemuita kwake ili ampe maisha ya mbinguni ya sina mwisho Mwili wake sitaweka adhini kama mbegu ya mwili utakao tukuka na yake ingie katika raha ya mbele tunapomba yeye bwana umpokee kafri kwa elimu katika uzima wa milele na utawala wako pate furaha sio na mwisho ukame uroni mwa takatifu wote daima na milele Bwana awe nani? Mwenyezi Mungu awabariki Baba, Mwana na Roho Mtakatifu. Sasa tupeleke eh, Kathleen na Kaburini. Tutumaini kwa siku moja tutakutana naye katika uzima mpya.
ndani wallahi yes tulikuwa live kutia huku I'm 
Papa Sama, Ayo Bwana, Pramuka Aya. So even for now, you can hear me, breathe in. And then breathe out. Now, in, and then out. Now, Fanya Vida Nga Kwambia, Yoko Mwamini Kusawa, I breathe in. In, 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 and then out. That's untidy.